Ladies and gentlemen, the most common question that Africans and whites are asking themselves, short and tall are asking themselves, literate and illiterate are asking themselves, young and old are asking themselves, is not what they are going to eat tomorrow, but why were they born? Have you ever asked yourself that why were you born? Ladies and gentlemen, according to the words of Mark Twain, the greatest humorist from the United States, he said that the two important days in someone's life is the day you were born and the day you discover why you were born. And this brings me to my topic for today, the two keys of identifying, discovering your talents and gifts. Remember, you are not too young to discover your talent. Think about Michael Jackson. And you're not too old to discover your talent. Think about Grandma Moses, amongst the greatest painters in the world, who discovered his talent in his late 70s. What are the two keys that we need to discover our talent? Number one, your passion. What do you love doing? And on passion, the first question that you should ask yourself is, what kind of people do you like on social media? What kind of people are you following to know about? Are you following motivational speakers? Are they actors and actresses? Are they poets? Are they comedians? Are they preachers? Are they painters? Are they architectures? What kind of people do you like? People whom you admire their life. Number two, which places do you like to be? Are you comfortable being on studio? Do you love having an adventure like John Goddard? Do you love being on a theater house, doing acting? Do you love attending seminars to learn and to teach? Do you love being in church, giving someone? Which kind of places do you like and much of your time? The third question on passion is, where do you spend most of your time? Remember, we have 24 hours in a day. And suppose you are a student like me, or you are an employee. Apart from studies, apart from the job that you are doing, the extra hours that you have, what are you doing with those hours? You have to follow your passion, not your paycheck. And that is the problem that we have today in our society. Graduates are going for courses because or for jobs because of the paycheck that they are willing to earn, not the passion that they love on serving. Follow your passion, not your paycheck. Number two, key of identifying your talents and gifts is ask God. Ask your creator. Remember you are as a result of creation, not extraction. No matter your faith, whether you are a Muslim, a Christian, or a Buddhist, it doesn't matter, but ask God. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know about how Microsoft operates, you are going to interview Bill Gates. If you want to know about how iPhone came to invention or to, uh, to the, in, came up with, you have, you got to have in the interview with Steve Jobs. If you are willing to know about the operation of the light bulb, you could have interviewed Thomas Edison. If you wanted to know about the first successful flight, you could have interviewed the two Wright brothers, Wilbur and Tommy. And if you want to know about yourself, you have to ask God. Dr. Miles Monroe at one time was giving a speech at Bahamas, and he challenged the audience when he said, that the wealthiest place on earth is the cemetery. This is true because many people are dying without discovering their talents and gifts. Ladies and gentlemen, let us not enrich our graves, but enrich the universe. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened for you. This is Dr. Brian Motivator. Remember, I was born to inspire before we expire. Consider to subscribe on this channel. You like, drop a comment, and share this video 
to impact the world. Thank you for watching.